Hello, and welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the tree-like structure, which Unix and Linux systems use to structure files and directories, and the table or cabinet-like storage that Windows systems use to store files and directories. So Unix and Linux systems will treat multiple secondary storage drives as one device in the system, allowing for the files and directories on them to be organized in a nice tree-like structure like this, where the root device is this slash directory, which is going to contain directories, which can also contain other directories and files. And it will be organized in a tree-like structure like this, where you see we have a bunch of directories here, which are all part of this root directory, this slash directory. And all of these directories are on the same level. If we look into one of these directories, such as bin, you will see, well, here we have a bunch of files. And these files are specifically some commands that we will be talking about in a future video. But these directories could also contain other directories, such as in the case of this home directory, we have this, well, file over here, stall, but we also have this other directory, mthomas, which if we look into that directory, we see we have a, well, this would be a directory called bin, but we also have another directory called class stuff and say this file called profile. And well, in this class stuff directory, we have two more files, foo and bar, but in this directory, we have nothing for now, this bin directory. I just know that it would be a directory because the name bin is typically a directory name. But one thing to note is say I'm in this directory in one of these files and I need to access something from stall, I wouldn't be able to directly access that stall since I would be in this mthomas now, and this is a tree-like structure. So I would need to go back a directory to this home directory to be able to then move over to this stall over here. And every one of these directories could have directories or files in them which would contain other directories and files, making this tree just be a very complex structure as more directories and files are added to it. And this is very useful because, well, if say a program foo that lives on one drive needs to access bin that's in user on another drive, well, it would be able to do that by just following this nice tree structure. Windows, on the other hand, recognizes multiple drives as separate devices. If you've used a PC, as most people have, you probably have seen something like your C drive, and you may have plugged in a flash drive and seen like A drive or B drive. That is your system treating the multiple drives as different devices. If you plug a flash drive in in a Unix system, you'll still see it as a, as a flash drive being plugged in, but it will be a part of the tree-like structure. On the Windows system, you will have a complete separate drive for that flash drive. And these different devices can be thought of as different cabinets in a filing cabinet or different drawers in a filing cabinet. And each one of these drawers is able to contain a set of directories, which may contain other directories or files. And the drawer could also contain files in it as well. So this is a very different way to organize the files and directories within the system compared to Unix and Linux that uses that tree-like structure. Because in this system, it's not quite as simple to just follow the tree to get to something on another drive. You would have to physically go and visit the other drive to get data contained on another drive. So it would take extra steps to go and do that. And that is all that I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.